Assalamu alaikum. I am Akil Abbas from Gerati Healthcare and we are proud to present our laparoscopic training system uh, which comprises a uh, laparoscopic training box, uh, a trolley, uh, LCD, keyboard and CPU and I will explain to you one by one all these components that make our Mestro training system. First of all, this is our training box. The size is about 18 by 13 and about 8 inches height and uh, it comprises a closed abdomen like box with uh, about 12 uh, instrument insertion ports which are strategically placed to represent a surgical uh, a simulation or surgical situation. It has a camera uh, navigation uh, system that comprises uh, a rotatable ball and uh, it caters to uh, training for single person and uh, two, two persons if a single person is uh, training, the camera position can be fixed by tightening these two screws. Now the camera is uh, fixed at one particular position. Now it's tight and uh, it, for two persons it can be loosened and then the ball becomes free to rotate in any desired position. The uh, instrument insertion ports are made up of mil uh, silicon material and there are about uh, 5, 7, 9 and uh, 12 different insertion ports. Then we have two training task insertion windows through which the task pads can be placed inside the box. For example, that's one uh, laparoscopic suturing task module. So you place it inside the board, uh, this uh, training board. You loosen these screws and slide the board inside the trainer at any desired position. And then you just tighten these screws and the plate will hold in, in its particular position. The trainer has suction cups underneath so that once you put it in any particular position and press it, it will not move from its position. Another feature of this laparoscopic training system is our height adjustment uh, LED monitor. It can be raised to any particular position, like it can be moved up and down and it will hold its position to wherever you want to keep it, according to the height of the per user. Then we have a smart keyboard which is fitted with the built-in trackpad or mouse pad and we have kept the size small so that it looks nice and handy and uh, it's a Bluetooth uh, keyboard so there are no wires attached. Then we have this uh, trolley system. This trolley has wheels so it can easily be uh, moved around any particular position and it has uh, brakes <coughs> and once you just switch on these brakes it will hold its position coming back to the exercises We will uh, present our different laparoscopic training tasks. We have our basic tasks here. The advanced tasks are not here because we have just run out of their stock, so we will send you a separate video for that. Our basic tasks include laparoscopic suturing pad, bead placement, peg transfer, uh, thread hook, and cutting and dissecting exercises. Uh, some of these exercises, or rather most of them, have their design uh, dictated by uh, SAGE's uh, FLS system. First of all, we have laparoscopic suturing pad. This pad has uh, different configurations for this uh, silicon uh, ridges, which represents the different positions of the wound. So it, it represents a simple linear suturing, as well as different curved suturing and horizontal, as well as an angled suturing position. The material is so very soft silicon material which is hard enough to let the needle pass through this material without tearing. Then we have this uh, bead placement task. 
in which the user or the person who's practicing picks up the, these small uh, beads using different instruments like laparoscopic grasper and uh, it, it, this uh, exercise you know helps for the de dexterity improvement so the right two lanes are to be used using your right hand and the left two lanes are to be filled using your left hand so this exercise helps in the development of uh, training for the left hand as well then we have the spec transfer module in which the pegs have to be taken from one side and from using for example you use the left hand for to pick these uh, triangular foam materials and midair you exchange it to the right hand and then shift to the other hand and then vice versa then we have hook thread hook placement exercise this uh, represents a kind of suturing uh, simulator and the uh, exercise pad represents the direction in which the thread has to be passed through these circular hooks all these arrows point that you have to use a particular sequence to put these threads. Then we have this uh, cutting exercise in which the user has to cut through this uh, black ring, making sure that the cut passes in the, from the middle of this black ring and never goes out of it. This uh, exercise uh, provides 50 extra uh, usable sheets and it can be easily placed using these clips. So these are our exercise tasks. Then we have this USB camera. This is one of the different types of cameras that we have. It is a USB camera with light control and it's a 10 millimeter diameter and 30 centimeter camera. We have four, we provide four different types of instruments with our trainer. This is our laparoscopic needle holder with ratchet system and straight as well as curved jaws. The jaws are fitted with tungsten carbide for a longer and durable performance. We also provide a Johan grasper, which is one of our laparoscopic training instruments. laparoscopic scissors and laparoscopic Maryland dissector. These are single use instruments so we also provide a warranty in which if any instrument breaks down we will provide free replacement. Uh, now we will explain how these things are fitted into this uh, laparoscopic trainer and how is it used. Uh, first of all, we have a laparoscopic camera. The USB is attached with a CPU. And then this uh, camera tightening screw is loosened and the camera is inserted. The camera position can be adjusted using this screw wherever the camera has to be put. It is fixed in its position using this tightening screw. Uh, then we go to the computer and uh, type in open the camera app. This camera app is built in in Windows 10 so it's like a very basic software. And now the camera result is showing in the monitor. This trainer also has a light function. So there's a switch on the back side which can be switched on and off. So this is a built-in LED light in this trainer. Once the camera is put in this position, we select any laparoscopic suturing task. For example, we put in uh, this suturing plate position it inside the trainer and the camera
camera position can be zoomed in and out of the view. Once the training task and the camera is in position, we insert these dummy trocars in any desired instrument uh, insertion ports. And then we take one needle holder and one instrument and they are inserted through these ports inside the trainer. And then you can start your training procedure. So this is uh, all about this uh, training, uh, Maestro training system. Episode suturing can be performed using these two instruments. And similar way, similar way, the other instrument training tasks can be inserted into this trainer, and the training can be performed.